Science. There's a growing question mark over a commonly prescribed type of drug to lower cholesterol. Some scientists and doctors believe statins are overused, but the latest round of debate in France goes even further. Professors Bernard Debray and Philippe Evan have published a guidebook for thousands of drugs, and they believe statins are useless. Since his heart attack, this 44-year-old patient has regular appointments at a major hospital in Paris. He has an unhealthy diet, he smokes, and doesn't exercise, combining all the major risk factors. His specialist is particularly concerned about his high level of cholesterol. Before the doctor told me I didn't know I had high cholesterol, I'd never done the analysis before because I was feeling fine. Now he takes Crestor, a drug in the statin family. Despite the controversy, many doctors still believe they prevent high cholesterol levels and cardiovascular problems. In coronary patients, that is people who've had a heart attack or angina, statins not only reduce the risk of having a recurrence, but quite simply, they lower the risk of death, or more accurately, put the risk of death further away, and raise the life expectancy of these patients in a quite significant manner. Statins are among the most prescribed drugs in the world. In France, they're used by at least 4 million people, costing insurance companies 1.5 billion euros a year. The French Drug Regulation Agency believes they're an important weapon in a doctor's arsenal. These drugs have been extremely well scrutinized for side effects, and anyway, there are not many drugs that can reduce mortality by 10%, like statins. But not everyone is such a fan. Renaud de Langlade heads several companies in the field of advanced electronics. He took statins for 10 years, but it was a decade of painful side effects, professional problems and a family crisis. Now he's ditched the statins and he's back on top again. Mainly I felt fatigue. When I came home I was drained. I had no energy, nothing. And when I say I had no motivation, I mean none whatsoever. In the morning when I was back in the office I wasn't 100% with the clients, but when I stopped the statins, even before I started exercise again, I felt much better, 10 times better. No more anxiety or stress, no more troubles and I could sleep. I returned to the normal work rate I had before. One leading cardiologist has changed his mind about statins. Michel de Logueril now believes they serve no purpose in lowering cholesterol to prevent cardiac problems. Indeed, he even thinks they're dangerous. We will come to the inevitable conclusion in the end that these drugs are unnecessary and toxic. They must be removed from the market and the health service must stop paying for them. As Professors Evin and Debre have already said, if you really want to protect yourself from heart disease and stroke, you should turn to something other than anti-cholesterol drugs. And there are already other ways of looking after your heart that are unanimously endorsed by the medical world. Exercise is one, saying goodbye to tobacco and animal fat is another, and saying hello to a Mediterranean-style diet full of fresh veg.